Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to make your life a little bit easier when it comes to footies SBCs with a little bit of trading knowledge and some trading tips related to fodder because every single day there are cards that are going up at certain times and going down at certain times and if you buy them when they're down it makes doing SBCs a whole lot easier inside of footies because we're getting great SBCs just about every single day and one thing that everybody needs right now inside of footies is SBC fodder and I want to talk to you about how you can get it for a little bit cheaper each and every day because there is an absolute trend to follow whether you want to invest and make profit or whether you just want to buy some cards put them in the club and get your 90 times 7 SBC or your 86 plus player pick or the 85 times 10 when it comes out again probably tomorrow on Monday when it comes out then I just want to talk to you guys about this daily method to get fodder for cheaper because there is absolutely a trend with these cards. I also want to take a look at what's coming today on Sunday in FIFA 22 because we should be getting our second Serie A premium footies player. We had Barella, insane card. Five star, five star was the vote, right? That was the theme of the vote. Today on Sunday, we should be getting Zapata, five star, five star, a big boy striker card. I'm actually a little excited for that. If he's cheap, if his stats look good, He'll have five star, five star. So I want to take a look at that and what to expect today on Sunday inside of this game. So if you're excited for today's content on Sunday, hit the thumbs up on the video. And of course, subscribe if you're new. The love is greatly appreciated. Let's talk about this trading method I'm talking about. And let's just talk about SPC fodder. We've mentioned this a few times over the past few videos because we have noticed that these cards do have a trend each and every single day. And it's really, really easy. Basically, all you have to do is buy the fodder in the nighttime or in the early morning whenever you're watching this. Basically around the time this video goes live is when the fodder is really low into the morning hours. Um, and then it goes up a couple hours after content every single day. You can see this happening perfectly yesterday with Leroy Sané going from 5.9K in the morning hours, couple hours before content, rises all the way up after content to 7,000 coins and look where he is back down a thousand coins. So basically what you want to do is buy these cards when they're low every single night and they go up after content because every single day we are getting a new SBC. Yesterday we had the Syria Tots or Shapeshifters player pick. We had the Jonathan David SBC and uh, we had the 90 times seven that is re-upped every single day, right? That, especially on the 84s, the, the 84s and the 83s are the ones that have this fluctuation the most and, and the best, the most profitable, um, because they're the, the most in-demand cards in this game right now. Now, do you want to buy like Leroy Sané? No, you don't need to buy like just one player. What I would honestly do and the best way to do this is if you're looking at it from an investment perspective, just buy one of each of these cards that is on the cheapest players by rating list, like 5 point. 5k is an amazing price for some of these cards. Some of them you might have to pay a little bit more for, right? Take a look at this trip here. 6,000 coins for him, I think is a great price for him because look, the past two days at content, he goes to 7.8k yesterday on Saturday. On Friday, he went up to 7.2k. And again, EA's not running any lightning rounds. I really just think that these fodder cards are going to continue to have these fluctuations every single day. The only supply that these fodder cards are getting right now on the game is weekend league rewards tradable and there's a few tradable packs in the store and you know i guess they did drop the uh, foot 14 sbc yesterday um but did this give you a tradable pack back hold up i didn't even check yeah a gold players pack that's not really too much of a pack up to pie face by the way didn't know that was an argyle player nice ggs anyways um you know SPCs like this are, are supplying fodder just a little bit, but really not that much. And that's why you can see, continue to see these fluctuations. Fodder cards go low at nighttime and then rise up after the content drop um, because they're basically in demand when everybody is doing SPCs around the content drop. So personally, I'm not going to be investing in trying to make coins in this. But what I'm going to do is buy one or two of these, like even Acuna at 6.4K. I would rather get him at 6,000 coins, but now I know that when I go and do an SBC today on Sunday around the content drop time, instead of paying 8,000 coins for this Acuna card when the prices go up, I have one in my club for 6.4K. So if you're looking to sweat it out a little bit and buy some fodder, you seriously can do this every single day. Getting them on bid is going to, of course, make you get a little bit more profit. You can snag a few of these guys at like under 6,000 coins for the ones that are a bit more expensive. Some of your cheaper guys, like, you know, even Jack Grealish, I believe. If, if the formation that they put out for one of these SBCs requires left wings, how much is Grealish right now? Grealish shows on footbin at like 5.7. 
4.3. Don't mind if I do. Dead late night market hours right there, picking up that price. But Jack Grealish yesterday, let's see what Flippin says for his price. You know, he, oh, absolutely. This is a good buy for sure, man. Look, 5.3K, right? Or 4.3. A bunch of them at 5.7. He goes all the way up to 7,000 coins. Bam. That's what you're kind of looking for with this fodder. So go through the cheapest players by rating page. And if you don't know how to get there, boom. Little drop down at the top here. Cheapest players by rating. And just sort through 83s, 84s. Maybe even some of the 85s have this kind of fluctuation. But I really like the 84s the most. Um, wow. That's a crazy fluctuation for our yards of ball. So he went from 9.5K to 13 yesterday. What did he do on Friday? On Friday, he went to 13 as well. So 85s might be a really good, um, a couple 85s might be really good to do this with as well, especially if they're not in packs right now, if they have a special card that's out. Delict, see, Delict didn't do it as much. What about Friday? Delict went from 7K to, to 10. So maybe I just found a sneaky good trade there with Oyarza Ball and, and ruined somebody's flips or something. If, if Oyarza Ball works good, shouldn't Nabry work good too? Let's look at this. Nabry goes from, you know, down to 9K, spikes to 12. Yeah, I mean, there's plenty of options. 83s, 84s, 85s. Look through all these cards. Stock your club at the very least or, you know, go out and make a few investments because, again, today is another day where people will be going out and doing SBCs on this game. There's going to be more fodder demand because there's SBCs that are out. There are footies packs that people are doing. And also what helps right now, what helps those fodder prices actually go up, in my opinion, is having the upgrade packs back. That was a part of the content from yesterday, having the 75 times five and the 82 plus player pick. I think that helps fodder prices because people then want to go out and do an SBC. And as they're doing these SBCs, they're filling them out like this. And I'm going to open my 90 plus times seven on this video, but look at what I had to do here with this squad. I had a bunch of high rated specials that I wanted to throw in here from opening 85 times tens and whatever. I had to go out and buy 84s. To complete the squad right that was one of the cheapest ways to do it that's how a lot of people are doing sbcs right now is this exact same way and that's why trading with the 83s the 84s and the 85s is the best way to go especially again like i said today 90 plus times seven is re-upping everybody's still doing sbcs on this game so why not let's open our 90 plus times seven since i just spent some coins on fodder at the late night low prices are we gonna get a big oh that's a big flag it's Allison. Okay, that's a bit unfortunate. On Friday, I got um, Rafael Leal. I was happy with him. Hey, oh, Zlatan, let's go. The one in my club is tradable. Okay, we will take that um, because Felix Paqueta, that's pretty good fodder. That's pretty good fodder, and I'm going to swap these Zlatans out because I finally packed him, man. Finally packed a Zlatan. That's a W. Anyways, um, we'll take that. Not the best, but I'll take it for this Zlatan. We still need a Zlatan footies, EA Sports. Please, please do that. So let's talk about today's content on Sunday just a little bit more. As I mentioned, the 90 plus times seven refreshes today. And I wanted to get that done tonight on the video so that I could open my new one uh, today on Sunday. Right there, bang. See, it's going to re-up for me in a few hours. I'm going to be absolutely doing that. Also today, I would expect a brand new Icon Player Pig SBC Probably they're just going to re-up the 93 plus. I would be surprised if they changed anything about this and did anything else, you know, newer or higher rated. They have to try to make Icon SBCs last until the end. I, I think it's going to be the same SBC today. If only they would make it cheaper, that might help out just a little bit. The 86 plus player pick, the daily refresh there. There's really not a lot of refreshers today besides the 86 plus and the 90 times seven. But then, of course, as I mentioned, our big player SBC from today will be this man, Duvan Zapata, the second most voted on footies, five-star skill, five-star weak foot player. I hope EA Sports give him the juice. These are predicted stats on this league. But a, a Zapata with, you know, I don't even know what his body type is in this game. I want to look him up. We'll, we'll talk about Bamba here in a second. But uh, Zapata had this headliners card. He is high medium. He is high and average. Okay, so he's probably going to feel a little bit like a truck. But he's going to be five-star, five-star. And maybe if EA drop in a few new traits, that'd be nice. It might just be a fun card. And I would imagine they would make it very cheap. So I'm a little excited for Zapata today, as long as the price is there and the upgrades are there as well. That should be our player SBC that we see today on Sunday. Other than that, I'm not expecting too much besides, you know, maybe a token here or there. Again, just a reminder that we are in the token mode once again, right? That grind is kind of like fresh and new because... We had a couple days off of no swap grinding, but the foot 14 SBC yesterday. Um, we are now at three tokens out of 50. We have had three tokens released. 
maybe one more coming out today and then i would assume that tomorrow on monday we're gonna have the huge you know batch of eight tokens drop like they did during summer swaps number one so i would just kind of get mentally prepared uh, for that as well as we expect to see all those tokens starting to speed up if you will on the game now speaking of yesterday's content a little bit more we did have a striker sbc yesterday which if you think about it we have tammy abraham which would maybe be a deterrent for wanting to go do the zapata sbc if you're like okay nate i just got the tammy abraham done he's got five star skills four star weak foot better links and you know more of a meta card possibly than zapata today i totally get that we also had another big boy striker dropped yesterday no five star skill moves but he did get a five-star weak foot. It is a really nice looking card and the dynamic image is fantastic. So Jonathan David was leaked. We knew this was coming, but people are really happy with this card. Everybody remembers his team of the year honorable mentions and how overpowered it was. Look at the 99 stats in this card. 99 sprint speed, attack positioning, finishing, stamina, jumping, heading accuracy. This guy is a super sub, the perfect super sub in the late game. He can do it all. So I'm kind of excited for this guy with the five-star weak foot. I want to definitely get him done. I hope they do a league one focused leak week because this would be a perfect card uh, to put in a league one, you know, like cup team or something like that. Absolutely perfect. Only 87,000 coins as well. I think if you take a look on Footbin, he has a lot of thumbs up and a very high percentage upvote on his SBC. 1,900 upvotes, 85,000 coins. You can't go wrong with that SBC. And yeah, 82% thumbs up rate as well. Now, with this SBC being pretty hyped yesterday, you did see a couple cars move. This Bamba was the one that probably moved the most from what I've seen in my quick little bit of research. 40,000 coins all the way up to above 50K um, for that card there. You would have thought that, oh, Nate, didn't Renato Sanchez go up? Well, technically, Renato Sanchez is at the bottom of his price range, so he didn't move at all yesterday because his card should not be 111,000 coins. It should probably be about 50K, but he need to lower that price range, and we still haven't had that happen yet. So I would assume uh, Bamba was one of the biggest price movers from yesterday after this David was dropped. Very, very nice card. Um, also, yesterday, we had the Serie A tot slash shapeshifter player pick which you know what i'm gonna give ea a thumbs up here i know that it's an 80 percent down vote and i understand why the hype is lacking a little bit on this because a lot of people are getting their Syria cup games done really quick since it's golden goal since there's no daily game limits and you know you can only use three max clubs in that team so people are, are here are like okay what, what's gonna what am i gonna risk this for you maybe you're gonna get you know cordoba you know i guess it's tots or shapeshifters i don't know if shapeshifter heroes are available but like ribery would be the best shapeshifter that you would potentially be able to pack from that sbc right i mean just clicking through quickly some of the best cards in here Dina Tale, oh, well, that's a hero. So I don't know if heroes are available or not. I, I haven't opened any or seen any opened, but like Delict, um, you know, there's just there's just not a ton of Syria hype within these teams because the players are so cheap. El Sharawi, 130,000 coins. The Perea is a really cheap card. Arnautovic is a really cheap card. So there's just, like I said, not a ton of hype with the Syria cards that are shapeshifters and then Tots cards for Syria. It's gotta be Teo, Rafael, Leao, um, or like one of those guys if it's going to be hype. So I, I like the price point of this SBC, but I understand why it's got the downvotes because who wants to gamble on that right now? Not that many people. So I completely get it. But also with this great content continuing to come out, the 90 plus times seven that we're getting every single day. I mean, the 90 plus times seven's got a lot of hype. Dare I say it's it's pushing on like the hype meter as maybe up there with the 85 times 10. The only reason why it's maybe not up there is because it's a bit more expensive, AKA a lot more expensive, and it does only give you seven players back and it's restricted to batch two, but it's still a really, really cool SBC. No problems with that. I look forward to doing another one of those today, but this SBC and all the other ones are continuing to drain coins off of the market because I want to take a look at even some shapeshifters at the moment. You know, we've been seeing prices drop around the market this whole entire weekend, right? Like. Remember when I was showing you guys like Marquinhos and I mean, look at Neymar, 1.8 mil. All of your Brazilians just continue to drop. All of the cards that are in batch two continue to drop. Neymar yesterday was above 1.9. Now he is 1.8 mil flat, just continuing to drop on the market. And that's just the story of everything. Benzema, 660K, 660. I think he's down like 50K. Oh man, he's down 100K from where he started the day at. 
yesterday on Saturday. So like a lot of these cards just continue dropping and you know, shapeshifters before weren't dropping that much, but now they're starting to drop in price as well. Davies, 155,000 coins. There was one other card in here that I was really surprised by the drop. Werner is going down in price a decent amount. Marcelo, 3.6 mil. He is drop dropping pretty fast, actually. Rashford, 1.3. That is down. Leroy Sané, 238k. He was just like 270. 270 on Friday, and now he's 230. Dropping off big time there. Valverde, 650. Um, he is on the way down. Like Everywhere you look right now, it's just Again, it, it makes sense, right? It makes sense why a lot of these cards are going down. It's just because the demand right now is for the SBCs. And when you have all this hype on SBCs and fodder is expensive and people are crafting, you're seeing coins drained off the market. But it's also the end of the year. So I completely understand it. By the way, I hope that a lot of you guys went out yesterday and bought gold rares. This is not a fodder investment. This is just more of like investing for those player picks, right? Because all of your gold rares right now have gone up to about 1, 1.1 K a piece, probably continuing to go uh, higher as we get into this week. And as more people are crafting SBCs and people get used to doing the upgrade packs, I think more on the weekends, people are focused on the objective game mode this weekend and weekend league. And then once you get into Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, more people will be focused on the player picks, probably seeing those gold rare cards continue to go up. So if you club stock those GGs, because you are feeling good about that decision with all of those gold rares starting to go up and those player picks being back. Now it's nice to have the player picks back. And I think that makes people go and do more SBCs. And I'm excited to do them as well to try to craft upgrades and to pack high rated players to do, you know, these other gamble SBCs for a bit cheaper and just to have fun on the game to do all that kind of in the same grind, if you will, the menu grind in the summer months. But, you know, it is uh, it is draining some coins off the market and it, it is making these prices drop lower on a lot of the cards that we still have for our teams. And the reason why I talk about shapeshifters just for a little bit there is because if you have tradable shapeshifters in your team still, I know they're dropping off, but a lot of shapeshifters, in my opinion, are going to be back in packs this weekend with batch number three. So I know it's a very early warning, very early warning for some of these cards, but I would just continue to start to think about, okay, if I don't need this card for my team, if I'm done with the Serie A Cup, if I have like a hero Di Natale shapeshifter or something, that's a card that's like up a lot, right? Or especially any of the, the Serie A cards, but any of these shapeshifters in general too, I would really start to think about cashing out on these soonish is the word I'll use soonish on cashing out on these because they're going to be finally back in packs this next Friday. I know it's like six days away, five days away, but it's going to be a big hype time. There's going to be some build up to that later on this week, as I think people are going to start looking forward to having new cards in batch three in packs. So that's going to be the video for today. If you did enjoy it, smash the thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. Have a great Sunday, guys. I'll see you on the Twitch stream. It's been Nathan Foot Account and I'll catch you later. Peace. Out.